Hello everybody, it's Jack and welcome back to another video and as you can see at the very beginning here I have this uh, little lobby leaderboards from one of the games that I was playing or one of the game sessions that I was playing actually and uh, the gameplay you're gonna get to see is a uh, free for all, right, a free -for -all <laughs> right here and then the second gameplay is another free for all and the second gameplay was from a from a few days ago I think it was yesterday or the day before and unfortunately, I couldn't go back to the recent players list to show you this guy's combat record uh, from the second gameplay. But long story short, that guy was one of the best players I've ever played in free for all, and he was dropping he was dropping wraiths and raps and uh, Cerberus on me, and uh, uh, and the gameplay that I got from that was uh, was quite satisfactory. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'll let you see it in the second gameplay. But this first gameplay is against another dude that I played with actually in today's session before making this video. And this video is basically going to be me talking about how to find tryhards and how you what you can do to better handle them in such a sense. And the thing is, uh, I actually recommend you do this whether you're a noob or whether you're an experienced pub player or whatever the thing is. If you're looking to challenge yourself or if you're that beginner who just wants to get better faster and uh, I recommend you do this because sometimes getting better faster means you have to get your ass handed to you and quite frankly you actually end up learning more from uh, from playing against better players than you do from just playing average players or players that are about your equal skill unless unless your skill happens to be really really good and then you're playing against people your equal skill then that's another thing and which which is definitely something that always works for me and and these are examples of these gameplays now obviously one of the first things you wanna obviously know whether you're a good player or whether you're a beginner one of the things you need to absolutely set in your mind right away is that you're not gonna win them all it's simple as that no matter how much you like to think you will you just won't you're not gonna win them all uh, things are gonna get you know things are not gonna go always go your way or whatnot and sometimes you can end up being frustrated but you can minimize your frustration by just telling you that and just con and just tell yourself to basically keep that in mind because quite frankly I mean that's the facts you're not gonna win them all and the thing is when there's other good players in the lobby you're just not gonna get you know those easy uh, those easy game plays or you know you're not gonna have a, an easy time like you usually do most of the time and it's just something that you're gonna have to accept and you're also gonna one of the things that you want to put in your mind is that you know, even though you may not realize it right away, it's uh, it's making you better because you have to basically, uh, yeah, you're challenging yourself. And whenever you challenge yourself, that is when you truly get better. So, uh, first of all, you want to you want to find people that are really good. I recommend you play anywhere from uh, 12 at night through 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and yes, I have been playing at those times lately because my sleep schedule is messed up. And, and long story short, I've just been having a little bit of a hard time sleeping at night lately. And when I do sleep, it's only been a, a couple hours and then I'm just up the rest of the night. So what do I do? I play. So uh, that is step number one. That is basically how you find them. And uh, I'm going to tell you, first First of all, I'm going to cover free-for-all because the gameplay you're seeing in the background is free-for-all. Uh, you're going to find at least one player in almost every lobby because there's not that many lobbies that the game will find you at this time uh, at that time of night especially since not many people seem to be playing as much as they used to this game anymore uh, you're gonna run into a lot of the same players and there's a decent amount of percentage of those players that are actually good especially when you're playing free-for-all um, so that is the one thing and uh, as far as team deathmatch is concerned you are going to basically not only run into above average players or even really good players at that fact but you're gonna you're going to find something that's a little bit frustrating, and that is you're going to find full teams. And they actually think that, you know, th they're going to be extremely cocky. Most of the time, they send you uh, messages, uh, hate mail. If, if you're doing well against them, and even if they beat you or whatnot, they're going to send you hate mail, and they're going to send you, you know, messages just to try to aggravate you or whatnot. So uh, just ignore it, stick with it, and try not to let it get to you, and just uh, put on your try-hard pants and do the best that you can as far as Team Deathmatch is concerned. Now, as far as what to equip and all that kind of stuff, well, if you're playing free-for-all, you, believe it or not, you're from the other player, you're not going to run into things like shock charges and, and concussions and stuff like that. That's actually pretty rare. Uh, so there's two different kinds of class setups that I'm going to recommend. And number one, obviously, you obviously need fast hands, and you're obviously going to need, uh, for, per for Tier 3, you're going to need at least your Soundhorn perk uh, awareness or 
uh, blast suppressor. And if you find that uh, blast suppressor, for whatever reason, is just not getting you kills fast enough, even though you're not getting flanked because you're not being surprised, uh, you can still equip your sound whoring along with your dead silence. Dead silence is something you need all, you need all the time, um, especially in this in these game types. And uh, uh, just don't. Don't use your uh, don't use your thrusters. Do not use your thrusters because they can hear you from a mile away, whether they're using awareness or not. And uh, and stick to the guns that you're best at. And with both of these gameplays, as you'll see, is uh, I basically went to the Pharaoh, which which is the the gun that I usually don't that I used to not always go you know to when it came to basically okay I need something that's definitely gonna help me win and. It ends up being this gun, and in both gameplays, that ended up uh, doing really well for me, and it didn't really surprise me, and which is why I always kept it in one of those classes to where, you know, like, if I ever need to use this class, here you go. Um, so, and as I explained in one of my previous videos, it is definitely probably the most underrated weapon in the game. Uh, and the thing is, uh, fast hands is always a necessity. Uh, again, blast suppressor, awareness, and dead silence. Dead silence is always a necessity as well, so you're going to have to switch between blast suppressor and awareness and uh, stick to the guns that are really good, not just in the game, but that are good for you. So uh, you're going to uh, you're gonna have to kind of maybe make a few adjustments here and there. And those players, they will use good guns. Trust me, they will use their M8s. They will use their Man of Wars. They're going to use their VMPs, their CUDAs. And uh, I haven't seen too many of them use the Pharaoh, believe it or not. So uh, I'm actually pretty pleased that I was actually able to do that. So uh, with the Pharaoh, which is something that's not being used, but it should be. <laughs> uh, so uh, use those. And oh, another thing that pleasantly surprised me as well is that silence, or excuse me, not a silencer, a suppressor is something that could also help you as well. And again, depending on. Uh, depending on what you're using, it doesn't really matter. The suppressor will actually help you out a lot because uh, even though the sound of the suppressor can be heard, uh, it still doesn't bring you up on radar. So they can still be far away from you, and they can, you know, you're not going to show up on radar. It's simple as that. So the suppressor actually helps you more than you think that it does. So uh, as far as which guns to use with a suppressor. Um, I haven't really used the Pharaoh with the suppressor, but I'm I'm still I still think it's pretty damn good because it's a three round it's a four round burst submachine gun and those those guns just because they're burst they automatically have a, a longer range as opposed to the other guns in their class so that's part of their uh, give and take so I would say the suppressor would be good on this one even though I personally haven't tried it at least not in a long time. But uh, as far as ones that I have tried, I would say the Cuda with rapid fire is absolutely amazing. Uh, sometimes quick draw is actually not needed depending on submachine guns as much as it does for assault rifles but for the most part you want to use an SMG uh, especially since there's so many variety and they can kill at a distance uh, as uh, as this game is, is built but for the most part that's what you want to do and the thing is do not be afraid to be aggressive and to stick to your guns and to basically give yourself that mindset of hey I'm gonna be confident no matter what happens uh, I'm going to do what I do and hopefully I'll come out with the win. And that's the way you want to play. You don't ever want to adjust to a way that you normally don't play. Unless it's a, unless it's just one of those situations where you have to counter what they're doing and there's absolutely no other way to do that. But in free-for-all, that's pretty rare. And let's face it, in free-for-all, for instance, you're basically trying to get more kills than that one other player uh, before they can. So, And yeah, as you can see in the second gameplay, the guy that was dropping all those kill streaks on me in the in all the previous games, I ended up dropping on him big time. So, uh, very ancient antidote. Even though he only got 11 kills in that match, trust me, he was absolutely handing my ass to me in epic fashion beforehand. And this was the only game that I won against him. And it was at the end of my session. And then finally, after winning, I was like, okay, I'm done because I was already tired and I wasn't going to stick around. But ran into this guy and I just wanted to keep playing until I win. So, and that's the kind of mindset you really need to have. You need to have that mindset to where. Uh, you're just not going to stop until you're satisfied. Now, obviously, you're not going to win every time, but the thing the thing is you want to keep persevering as if you will. So uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one, guys. The time actually went pretty fast. Um, so uh, don't be afraid of, of going out there against b better players because in the end, it's only going to make you way better. And uh, you might get a little frustrated, but that's Call of Duty. You know, you're 
you're going to get frustrated here and there. But uh, just keep in mind that this is practice, and this is to improve your game, your gameplay overall and your performance. So have that kind of mindset, and you will uh, sooner or later you will prevail. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.